Amongst African American women, a topic that frequently surfaces is the preference for Ghanaian versus Nigerian men. They have very big dick energy, energy. and very big dick energy. Now, the question of which group garners more attention or holds more appeal is not just a matter of curiosity, but also a reflection of cultural dynamics, societal, you know, influences and people's personal experiences, which we would delve right into. So watch this. The men. I don't know. I was married to a Nigerian and I've definitely had my fair share of dating in Ghana. I will say it's a very big difference. Um, one culture is a little bit more alpha. One's a little bit more beta. Not that that's a negative thing, but it's just... A, more calm, more chill. I personally prefer Nigerian. It just it just aligns better with my personality, and they kind of get me more because the, the Nigerian moms they they don't, they mean business, so they raise their sons to know that. It seems a little bit more laid back, you know, relaxed. I feel like the Ghanaian men want to be kind of chased. They want you to pursue them, but the Nigerian men they say what they want, they go after it. The Ghanaian men, they want to be treated like they're the prize. Okay. Well, one culture is definitely not alpha over the other. It was her opinion though. And one thing that I love about her statement is her level of intelligence in sharing her opinion without coming off as offensive. But I get where she's coming from really and she has a point. Let me explain. You see, both Ghanaian and Nigerian cultures boast of rich histories, traditions and diverse customs. But you will notice both share similarities in terms of language, food and even values. But make no mistake. Both countries has its own unique cultural characteristics. Now, the issue Ghana and Nigeria has competing in various areas of endeavor is due to the media, which plays a significant role in shaping perceptions and people's preferences. Nigerian culture, especially through Nollywood movies and you know Afrobeat music, has gained huge global recognition, influencing people's perceptions of Nigerian men as confident, as charismatic, and stylish. On the other hand, Ghanaian culture, though celebrated, may not enjoy the same level of international exposure in mainstream media, potentially affecting perceptions of Ghanaian men. So watch this. Ghanaian men are the most stingiest men I've ever met in my life. They are wow. the cheapest men I've ever met in my life. Really? They are men who do not <laughs> take care of their women. Okay, never in your life even think about dating the Ghanaian men. You will regret it. Now, I see how negative feedback can seem a bit disrespectful, but one thing to consider in both Ghanaian and Nigerian culture is that individual experiences greatly influence dating preferences. For some African American women, personal interactions and relationships with Ghanaian or Nigerian men shape their preferences, meaning that positive experiences will reinforce attraction while negative encounters would definitely lead to some serial biases or a generalized reservation, which is not very good, right? Have you dated any Ghanaian men, even in the States? I have. And how was that experience? Top tier. Really? Yeah, my experience was good. Good, good, good. I'm so happy to hear that. So are you dating? Are you, you know, are you outside, you know? I got friends. I got friends. Okay, that's all that matters. So you have to do Dirty December at least once, please. Okay. You won't regret it. Good. You know, I told you guys that when I meet my king, King Ositu II, the second, I'll, I'll tell him, oh, daddy, I have one special request to make. Please, me pacho. I mean, I want five husbands so. <laughs> from Ghana. <laughs> you see, most, I don't know about um, if it's a general thing, but <laughs> most Ghana men are naturally wired to have high libido, especially when they are into you. All right? So now, if a Ghana man is into you, Charlie, be ready to make the chop you every time. Like they go chop you as breakfast, as brunch, as lunch, as post-lunch, <laughs> dessert. <laughs> okay, okay, now let's get serious. Seriously, seriously, like there are, if, from my personal experience, if you, if I'm going to get married, you know, I would choose to marry a Ghana man over marrying a Nigerian man. That's my personal choice. There's nothing against Nigerian men. It's also nothing against people who prefer to marry Nigerian men, of course. But um, I personally would prefer 
um, to marry a Ghanaian, you know, because uh, this is not um, a general thing. Like, I'm not generalizing. I'm just saying from experience and from my point of view also, uh, Ghanaian, some, or uh, let's say most, most Ghanaian men are really respectful, okay? The society, the tradition, the culture, the law in Ghana frowns at disrespect, especially to women, okay? So this has made it, you know, kind of a way, something they are used to, you know, with upbringing, most of them respect their women. But a few things play a major role in how connections are formed, like personality, compatibility, and for me as a life coach, compatibility is the main foundation in establishing any romantic relationship. And it doesn't matter how great the person is, if both, you know, of you are not compatible in terms of, let's say, zodiac signs, you will disagree on everything. Okay, so today, the question of today right now is like, what do you think about Nigerian men? No, why you love crazy it? question. Tell me, what do you think about Nigeria, man? Aggressive. For real? Come you know on. what you think? They're very aggressive. Okay. And very like... V very like... Standing. Really? Stop playing, you know. <laughs> now, to be honest, you can look at so many reasons that would impact one's relationship with another, like education, socioeconomic, status, family values, cultural, you know, background. The question of whether you know, African-American women prefer Ghanaian or Nigerian men is very subjective. So today's question is like, what do you think about Nigerian men? I like them. For real? I have a lot of Nigerian friends. I like Nigerian. They're very um, fun people. Um, they're good to be around. Very smart men. Okay. Some, some of them. Some of them are cocky. <laughs> some of them are cocky. But for the most part, the most, Niger most for the most part, I have a lot of Nigerian friends. Okay, so have you dated any Dated? Yeah, yeah. That's kind of like all that comes to me, mostly. Really? Yeah, so I've dated and I've had. So, is there anything sweet about Nigerian guys you really like? How generous they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! We spoke about the media representation, personal experiences, societal experiences, individual experiences. All these contributes to shipping romantic attractions and relationships. Preferences between both Ghanaian and Nigerian men are different and are unique to the individuals themselves in the relationship. So rather than focusing only on the cultural backgrounds of Ghanaian and Nigerian men, it is crucial to approach dating and relationships with an open mind. Now, I will say that have mutual respect, have shared values, and as a life coach, above all else, compatibility should be the most important attribute here, which you will notice that it takes a very subjective approach as to who the individual is and really not the collective. Where are you from? I'm from Sudan. Nigeria or Ghana? I've had bad experiences with Nigerians, so I'm going to say Ghana. Damn! What do you think about Nigerian men? Oh, oh Nigerian me, baby. <laughs> what? Is there any single Nigerian men out there? Have you dated any Nigerian? No. Guy? You sure? No, I haven't. Well, when I said Nigerian, you'd be like, oh my god. Because yeah. they get real. Mm. It's the voice and stuff to me. Okay, I appreciate you. Now, I hope it all makes sense. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and drop me a comment. Reheritage, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.